Well, good morning and welcome to Tea and Toast. This is Jason. I'm full of Greg. Oh, you dirty. <laughs> Jason. Yeah? I'm bored. Well. It's supposed to be a morning show, it's supposed to be entertaining people, I'm bored. I'm just writing this bit for the next section. But I'm bored now. Okay, Greg, watch this. Watch that part of my hand there. Mm? Watch this pen. One, two, three. Well, that's amazing. I know. That it's really is amazing. Pen. Yeah, carry on. Thanks. Jason, what's this here? Yep, this is our new weekly breakfast show, Tea and Toast. We'll be with you every Monday morning, sharing with you some interesting and fun things with a little splash of Saturday morning TV. Saturday morning TV. It's a good one, isn't it, Saturday morning TV? Let's kick things off, Greg, okay. with news or not. So, in news or not, we have a couple of news stories each that we're going to read out to each other and we have to decide if our news stories are true or untrue, i.e. are they news or not news. Oh, that's why it's called news or not. Yes. Got you. I'll just turn off. It's great, isn't it? Well, I found two news stories on my card. <laughs> See that? Do you want me to go first? You go first. So you've got to guess whether this is true or not? Yes. Okay, right. This is the first one. Hello Kitty and Minnie Mouse in Street Fight. That's the headline. Do you want me to know yeah, some more? Yeah. Minnie Mouse was caught fighting Hello Kitty in New York Times Square. 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 It's easy for me to say. And uh, it was all over tip money. Now, is that news or not? Where was it? New York Times Square. Well, they do have a lot of characters around in Times Square, don't they? And they I, do, yeah. I, I yeah. think they actually do only operate for tip money. So I, I for think what, tip Oh, tip. Money. It's a bit early for that. I think that's quite feasible, I think that's news. Well, it is Jason. They were caught fighting and they ripped each other's heads off. Sorry kids if you're watching this. They ripped each other's heads off and they started scrapping and the one got facial and lip uh, injuries it says here. And yes. There that, you go. Oh, that's interesting isn't it? So that's news. That was news, yeah. My turn. You ready Have for I got a guess now? You've got a guess, yes. Okay. A bear has been arrested in Canada. Is that the headline? That's the headline. Tell me more. Rangers in British Columbia were left with little choice but to arrest the bear after a tourist insisted on pressing charges. The bear faces charges of theft and vehicular damage after knocking over the Harley Davidson of Chuck Matthews while stealing his food. Is that news or not, Greg? Well, it's in Canada, isn't it? Yes. I'm going to go not. You'd be right to say not, Greg. That's really? not news. Oh. I completely made that up, but was inspired by a story about a pigeon being arrested in China on suspicion of spying. But the bear one's not true. The bear one is not true. Oh, you're a bear-faced liar, you are. Next story, Greg. <clears throat> okay, um, here we go. You ready for this one? Yes. This one's, uh, this one's interesting. Man rushed to hospital for snogging a turtle. Would you like to know more? Yeah, or would you like yeah. To... Okay. A drunk went into the seafood section of the Chinese supermarket and dived his head into the tank trying to kiss one on the lips. Kiss one? A turtle. Oh. Honestly, I assume they pick them over there and then take them. <coughs> so, is that true? False? News or not? That can't be true, can it? I'm going to say not. That's not news. It's actually news. Really? I did both mine true, you see. Try and catch you out. Yes, he was rushed to hospital with facial uh, injuries and he doesn't remember one thing when he woke up the next morning. But he tried to snog a turtle. How did the turtle feel the next morning? Shell shocked. <laughs> we didn't even rehearse no, that. No, we didn't rehearse that. <laughs> Is this rehearsed? No. Oh. So, yes. That, oh, uh, that'll be there anyway. Right, my new story, and I, I have to give you a little warning here. If you are actually eating your breakfast or any type of food, you may want to... Um, Put it down for a minute. Woman takes a poo in B&M aisle, then carries on shopping. Go on. Staff at the Southport branch of B&M were disgusted to find a poo in the middle of an aisle covered up with baby clothes. 
after checking CCTV, they were horrified to see a woman in her mid-thirties carrying out the job in question. Is that news or not news? Let's be absolutely honest. It's early morning. There's no way that can be true. It can't be true. I'm going to go with an absolute... I reckon you've... I've done two true ones and I reckon you've done two fake ones. You're going not news? No, I'm going not news. It's absolutely true, Greg. A I woman has <laughs> taken a in B&M. And uh, I apologise for that if you were eating your breakfast this morning, but there you go. Mor that was... Morning. <laughs> that was news or not. Featuring poo. So, Greg, have you ever wondered how much the things we had as kids would cost in terms of today's money? I have, actually. I've been thinking about that quite a lot. Well, we've figured it out. We've taken a few things that we've got here in our studio, and we have worked out, allowing for inflation, how much they would cost if you would have bought them today. And we will start with... It's great viewing, isn't it? This Brave Star annual. Not necessarily Brave Star, but annuals in the 80s. Cost around about the £3.75 mark. Which I would still be expected to pay that about now. Yeah, well I think most annuals are 99p, £2, that kind of thing at yeah. the moment. Mm -hmm. Allowing for inflation, if you would have bought this Brave Star annual today, it would have cost you £9.43. £9.40 for an annual? Yes. That's outrageous. Our parents paid that kind of money for those annuals. And now we've got, in this studio, about 500 yeah. annuals everywhere. You so, sat on five of them. Uh, your go, Greg. Uh, we've got uh, the A team, B A, Mr T. Now obviously. Ain't got no plain fool. We've got um, other figures up there, uh, the rest of the A team clan, but we've just chosen B A for the uh, for this particular section, and he would have cost four pound ninety five pence packaged back in the eighties. Today, Jason. Allowing for inflation, how much is that, Greg? £13.41. That's not too bad. It isn't bad, I suppose, when you think that, you know, it's collectible, isn't it? I think if you look at figures that are released nowadays, you pay around about that for a figure. So inflation has been kind to action figures. I think you're right, Jason. Well done. Computer equipment in the 80s was expensive. Uh, take, for example, the Amstrad CPC 464, which of course you could buy with a green screen or a colour monitor. Well, with the green... Sorry, I'm just, I was more of a Spectrum myself. Well, I've only me. worked out a price for this one. I don't want to know the price, I'm just saying. Well, the Amstrad CPC 464 with the green screen would have cost you £249 in 1985. So, £250? Yes. Allowing for inflation, Greg. That's an equivalent cost of £652. So if you had one of those in 1985 or beyond, your parents paid an equivalent of £652 for it. I hope you're grateful. Yeah, I am, because I had that and the Spectrum. Should we move on? Last weekend saw the 30th anniversary of the movie The Goonies, which happens to be my favourite film of all time. Yeah, you do bang on about that film a lot, don't you? So, what I thought we'd do is now, because this is going to be really exciting, why don't we ask you a few questions to see just how much you know about The Goonies? Let's go for it, Greg. You think you're that good? Yes. You ready for this? Yes. And of course you can join in at home. What a way to spend the morning, eh? Here we go, Jason. Question number one on Tea and Toast's Goonies quiz. Mikey and Brandon are brothers. They right? are. But what was their last name? Walsh. Do you want some options? Uh. <laughs> you can have Wallace, Walsh, Walker or Wise. Uh, Walsh. You're going to go with... I'll stick my original answer. Walsh. I'll just put it into the computer down here. It's the right answer. Well Thanks. done. Next. Next question. See, I'm pretending I'm reading it off here, but we're on the computer here. Just thought... They won't know. Where that's... Where is the Goonies set? Astoria in Oregon. Is it Oregon, Texas, Canada or Florida? Uh, Oregon. I'll just check on the computer. It's the right answer, Jason. Thanks very much. Very good. Next. Well done. Okay, next question on this card here, not the computer here. Who does Sean Astin play? Mikey. Is it Mikey, Mouth, Data or Chunk? Uh, Mikey. You going with Mike? I'll just check on my card. It's the right answer, Jason. Well Thanks done. Very much. Okay, let's go. You really do know quite a bit about this, don't you? 
Oh, hello. It's a long one here, I'm just reading off my card. Do you want me to allow you to give me the options this time? Whatever you want. Why are the Goonies being forced out of their homes? Is it a serious case of town-wide... Pardon? Town-wide damp? A golf course being built on the land? House prices are on the increase and they're selling up? Or Chunk thinks it's best to move? A golf course is, is being built on the land. Final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer, Thanks Jason. Very much. Congratulations. Do you want another one? Yes. Okay. I'm enjoying this. Great. It's good I've got more written down, isn't it? Yeah. What is Mouth's actual first name? Oh? Clark. Oh. Is it Jeff, Steve, Chunk, or Clark? It's the right answer now. It's going to be ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, okay. Okay, next mm -hmm. one. Which character plays the piano in One Eye Willie's. Oh. One Eyed Willie's musical trap. Andy. Mm. And a little bit of trivia about that. That's the right answer. There's a line in the film where she's playing the piano and she says, I can't tell if that's an A sharp or a B flat. And Mikey says, well, if you don't play the right note, we'll all B flat. Well, A sharp and B flat are exactly the same note, so it doesn't matter. Next question, Greg. And I have to work with this. What is the name of the pirate ship the Goonies discover? The Inferno. Is it the... Yes, Jason, that's correct. Well done. <laughs> Got any more, Greg? Oh, might as well, eh? What is the... What is Data's family going to... Oh, sorry, where is Data's family going to move when their house is being foreclosed? Detroit. London, Canada, Detroit or Washington? It's the right answer, Jason. This is the last one there. According to one of Chunk's lies, what star came to his house to use the bathroom? Michael Jackson. Michael J. Fox, Michael McIntyre, Michael Jordan or Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson? Although he then admits that it wasn't Michael Jackson, it was his sister. What? Janet Jackson? Yeah. She visited his bedroom? She didn't really, it's all lies. Chunk tells a lot of fibs. Does he? Yeah. Well congratulations Jason. Thanks very You've much. won a Thundercat sword. Oh thanks very much Greg, congratulations. that's fantastic. That's for you that is. Couldn't get a Goonies related prize. Uh no. Uh no, Jason, sorry. Sorry, mate. <coughs> Jason, you ready for my joke? Go on then. This will cheer you up in the mornings. What do cats have for breakfast? I, I don't know, Greg, what do cats have for breakfast? Mice crispies. So that's about it for this first episode of Tea and Toast. We hope you've enjoyed it. We certainly have, haven't we, Greg? It's just morning viewing at its ultimate finest, isn't it? Exactly. Who needs BBC or ITV or any other breakfast show, for that matter, when you've got Tea and Toast? Tea and Toast. We'll see you next Monday, right here. <laughs>